Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, cross-watchers are also welcome here. Keep in mind this is general. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there. Take the parts that do resonate, apply it to your life however it fits for you. I'm hearing a message of things are about to blow up. And something that you've been working on, something that you've been building. So that can show up in two different ways. Either it's blowing up in your face or it is blowing up and taking off. Okay, so that's the message that I'm hearing. Someone needed to hear that. So if it's if things are going well for you right now, it is blowing up in a good way. And if you feel an inkling that your gut is off, then it may be blowing up in your face. Okay. All right, let's hop into your reading. We have the sun that's showing up as your current energy here. We're going to clarify each of these as well. We have the king of air, your energy that is showing up in your advice. And then your final outcome is the justice card, which is your reading. I mean, it's your it's definitely your reading for sure. This is all your energy with the Leo as the sun. But Justice card is showing up as your final outcome. So we're going to clarify each of these as well. We'll see what is coming up for you here, Libra. All right, so that sun energy, we have a happy outcome. So maybe what is blowing up is what you have been working on and building and putting your time and energy into. And so things are changing. I feel like you have been waiting for something. And I, and I do feel like for some of you, this has already come to fruition or for those of you that um, are still waiting, that this is coming up for you. The number 19 breaks down to a 10, which breaks down to a 1 in numerology. So this is a new start. So I feel like some of you are on a new journey, a new path towards success and happiness, building yourself up and building your esteem and your confidence. You're in a place of feeling joyful and hopeful. I'm even feeling too. This may be in regards to a career, a career change, your business, making uh, strides or a relationship that you're dealing with. So that could be platonic or romantic, but I do feel like there is a success. I'm hearing the world is yours, and some of you are feeling on top of the world right now um, in regards to something, but I definitely feel like this is um, a new a new journey for you here. Let's see what's coming up. Let's clarify this sun. Uh, these three wanted to pop out, so I'll go ahead and take all three of these. So we have the Hierophant, the sun is coming out, the <laughs> sun is coming out uh, double time, and then the Three of Swords energy that's showing up for you. So this may be in regards to something that you have been receiving some assistance for. So whether it has been a business partner, you coming together in that way, or a relationship that you once felt sadness around this emotional pain and strife, you maybe have felt some tension like, I'm even hearing like your heart wasn't in it anymore, but then something brought you back together. Okay, so I don't know if this could be someone from the past as well or something from the past. But whatever this is where you felt like, I'm, I love this. This is my passion. I'm feeling exhausted and drained and maybe I should move on from it. I feel like there has been a realization that brought some sort of happiness and love back around for you where you're loving something or loving someone again. So I feel like that's the energy that you're in where you're like, it's a fresh start for you. It's a fresh start for you in your business, a fresh start for you in a person, and things are feeling a lot better now because you know that there is a very strong connection, a bond, um, and you know that this is meant for you or this person is meant for you, however it's going to show up for you um, during this the remainder of this month. But I definitely feel an energy of working with the Citrine Crystal. I'm getting that um, energy, and that is an energy that is, um, that's a stone that's connected to abundance and prosperity. So get you a necklace or carry you a tumble stone in your, in your, I was going to say in your jacket, but in your pocket, wherever you want to, your purse, wherever you want to carry it, and, and keep that on you and set an intention for it or let the crystal set an intention for you. But your intention right now is to remain in this happy, success, successful energy into only you only seek 
successful and happy outcomes. You're moving past this, whatever this is. I feel like this was most recent for some of you with the Three of Swords that you may have felt a sadness around something due to a loss or a separation of something. But I do feel like it came back together. Like things fell apart. It felt like it crumbled. It felt like it was over, but then it came back together. Okay. And so now you're, now you're, you're feeling good. And some of you may have completely let that go, whatever that was, and decided to focus on yourself. And now you're in this very healthy, confident state in your life. Okay. So we have the king of air, your energy here that's showing up in your advice. I definitely feel like whatever this is has definitely put you back on track. Put you back on the wagon to exploring more aspects about whatever this is that you had been focused on. There's new ideas that are coming up for you. And I, I definitely feel like you're in a place of speaking your mind with confidence. So this is why I feel a very strong, confident energy coming from you right now, Libra, because you may have sought out some professional help. That hierophant that was here is someone or something bringing you back together, whether that is the divine or that is a person like a counselor or an advisor or something bringing you back together with something or someone. So I definitely feel like you, um, some of you, if you are not in that place right now and you still are feeling that three of swords, that sadness energy, this is an opportunity for you to seek help, to get the advice that you need to be able to move forward, to let go of thoughts, feelings, people, emotions, leaving that behind you so that you can start this new journey and really grow because this is a growing phase for you now here Libra where you're needing to balance your mental and emotional mindset okay so keep that in mind or let's pull some cards around this some of you may be in a place of still feeling impartial but I feel like if you get the help that you need it's going to give you clearer direction All right, we have the hangman that is showing up for you, Taurus energy. So this is you needing new perspective. Some of you have been lingering in an energy for a little bit, and this is why it is a good idea for you to seek help in some sort of way. So if you need help with your business, you need more money, you need a business, uh, business advice, you need to set up a financial plan, or if this is a person that you're dealing with, you need help with learning about each other, exploring different aspects of each other, getting to know each other's foundation and how you communicate, what you saw love, how you saw how you saw love as a child growing up, how you how do you love, what can you implement into your life to make things better between you and someone. So this again, like I said, this is general, so you can take whatever resonates with you. But definitely develop a new, uh, de developing a new perspective. Some of you need to take a little time out just to, or take a step back so that you could see um, the picture from different angles and different perspectives because maybe you have just been doing things the way that you want to do it and now it's time for you to make a shift. So it feels like a little bit of a uncomfortable nudge that the universe is trying to pull, push you into that you can't, you can't do things your way all of the time. So there is change. We're like the universe changes, the world changes. Everything around you changes all the time. In in Libra, you have to change as well. So you have to make that shift. So this is saying to take a step back so you can see things differently and take a different approach to certain situations that you may be um, finding yourself in. I do feel like, again, this is an expansion phase where you're going to be growing and some of you are learning different things about yourself, different things about people as well. And I'm hearing to just wait, hold off. That's what I'm hearing. The Ace of Cups, this could be around a relationship. Or this could be a relationship that could be coming in. So some of you are wanting to make an abrupt move about with something. And when it comes to your love life, possibly, and this is why that hangman is here saying, just hold off for a second, take a pause. Some of you are going to have to surrender to the way that other people do things and how they show up in a relationship. This is the reason why some of you are needing to seek counsel so that you can both get on the same page is what I'm feeling. I do feel that 
there is someone that may feel up your cup, but I feel like there is a little bit of hesitation that is coming up for you because there is something that you may be holding on to. There is something that someone else could be holding on to as well. I'm going to pull one card around this. My eye is so itchy. The Eight of Pentacles. So something that you've been working on, something that you're so focused on, and then I feel like you're focused on one thing and you can't see everything else that is happening around you or you can't see the good in someone because you're focused on one flaw. So this is an opportunity for you to seek counsel. So that is your advice is to seek counsel so that you can get different perspectives on things before you decide to make a move on something without, I'm sure you're going to fully think it through, but um, I'm feeling a tendency for you wanting things to be your way often. And if it doesn't show up in that way, you just kind of 86 yourself from the situation. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling for your advice is to take your time to continue to pour into this as I'm looking at the eight of pentacles. Continue to pour into this because it definitely feels like you have a love and passion for whatever this is or whomever this is. And it feels like the two of you may have even been through a lot of things together or there has been a lot going on behind the scenes. But this is an opportunity for you to think outside of the box and to love harder is what I'm hearing. And that could be yourself as well. It does not mean that it has to be another person. You could also be pouring into yourself or pouring into a passion, okay? So that is your advice. Your final outcome is the Justice card, which is your energy here. The number eight is connected to abundance, wealth, manifestation, and we are in a universal eight year. So I definitely feel that this year, 2024, there's going to be a change where things are going to be revealed. You're going to be speaking your truths more. You're going to do what you feel is right for you and your family and what makes you happy. You're going to be standing up for your beliefs. Okay, but this is, I feel like you're going to be starting this during this month. The remainder of this month is really trying to find balance. Some of you have been investing your time and energy into people and things and you've been forcing things to happen, trying to make it happen. And I feel like things may be revealed at some point. I feel like, again, that speaking your truth is going to be very important to you. Speaking your truth is not going to align with other people. It's not always going to align. So I think you're going to have to get out of the mind frame of, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I want to be fair. You have to be fair to you. And I think you're going to start realizing that you have to be fair to yourself. Let's pull some clarifiers around this. We have the Six of Pentacles that's coming up. This is, again, pouring into yourself like a mutual energy or pouring into something or someone else. And again, fairness is coming up again. That's what I'm feeling from this. So keep in mind that whatever you are asking for, you're going to receive. So make sure you're asking for the right things for you. I'm hearing you're going to be building, and I feel like you're going to be building with someone. With someone, um, This can show up in your career, but I'm going to speak from the uh, perspective of relationship. You're going to be building with someone, and it's going to feel fair and equal as well. This is why the justice is here. So I feel like the, six, the justice and the six of pentacles is like double confirmation for you on a balance that is coming in for you as your final outcome. Let's see what else is coming up for you. We have the Eight of Wands. So now we have another number eight that is coming up for you. Um, things are going to be moving rather quickly for you as well. I'm hearing recovery. So I don't know if some of you have had a health issue or you're recovering from financial loss, but I'm feeling a recovery energy that is coming up for you. So whatever it is that you've been pouring into, there is a recovery phase for you. This is probably why that hangman is showing up to say, take a break to see everything for what it is. That's for sure. So I'm even feeling some of you may, uh, travel is also coming up for you as well. Traveling up overseas could be coming up or just traveling anywhere in general, but I was feeling an overseas energy. Four of Wands is also showing up for you. So it definitely makes me feel like you pouring into someone or there is an equal 
give an exchange between you and you and someone and I feel like things may move rather quickly but I do feel like you need to um, speak your truth I'm also feeling an energy of confusion or energy of back and forth um, there's an energy of uncertainty that is coming up in some sort of way so I'm not sure how that is showing up for you Libra but uncertainty is coming up so I'm going to pull one more card the eight of swords you definitely in your head about things some of you are feeling trapped in a situation or you're just trapped in your mind. But this is also self-destructive energy here with this self-sabotage here. So I feel like there, it's, I'm feeling an energy of you speaking. I want to build this with you. I want to do this with you. I want to travel with you. I want to, I want to love you hard. I want to make this work. But then in your head, the vibration that you're giving the universe is confusion and so it brings confusion back into your space and back into your energy or in that relationship and so it definitely feels like a back and forth this is why the justice is coming up to say you really have to speak your truth and also get out of your head so this is why seeking counsel is going to help you get clarity around the direction that you need to move in it's going to help you release the some of the things that you've been holding on to some of the old skeletons the things that you swept under the rug the things that you've been keeping in the closet it is time to let that go reveal so that you can heal reveal so that you can heal so that's the final outcome that is coming up for you is that there definitely is a change of how you see how you see things, but you're going to need assistance on the journey to relieve yourself of some of this so that you can move forward in a, with this sun energy and remain in that sun energy of a happy and successful outcome in whatever this is that you are investing your time and energy into. Okay, so that is your reading, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of the month here. I will see you guys for the month of March. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.